Hey everybody, if you've been looking for a high quality VPN that won't break the bank and you want to see if Surfshark is the right one for you, this video will give you everything you need to know to decide whether you want to make that purchase. That said, I know your time is valuable, so let's do this. Surfshark is a virtual private network service based in the British Virgin Islands, a privacy-friendly jurisdiction, I might add. I originally tried Surfshark back when it was founded in 2018, and it has consistently leveled up its service each year since then. Surfshark is undoubtedly one of the best budget-friendly VPNs that's on the market, and it has a super clean, intuitive user interface on all of its applications across desktop, on Mac, Windows, and Linux, as well as its mobile apps on iOS and Android. You can also access the VPN service in browsers using extensions in Firefox and TV platforms like Fire TV, and even install the service at the source on your internet router. Over the years, Surfshark has expanded its server locations and its speed has improved. It's also a fantastic value for money, offering unlimited bandwidth and devices on one single plan. If you use my coupon code, Hashoshi, at checkout, you can connect an unlimited number of devices to Surfshark's thousands of servers for as little as $2.20 a month. One plan can cover your entire lineup of devices, from phones to computers to TVs and more. Now, I could read you the whole spec sheet, but you can easily find that information on your own. So instead of doing that, I'm going to give you my own real-world user experience and takeaways after using Surfshark over the years. All VPNs should have the industry standard encryption to protect your data, a no logs policy to protect your privacy, IP and DNS leak protection, and all those core features that you'd come to expect and sh could, should come standard in every VPN. And Surfshark does indeed check all those boxes. But let's talk about the real world experience you need to decide if Surfshark is right for you. First and foremost, you're probably thinking that you want a VPN that delivers solid internet speed and will let you stream video, browse the web, and play games without any slowdowns or issues. Thankfully, Surfshark delivers on that speed front. With its recent addition of the WireGuard VPN protocol, I was able to get even better results than I had on previous testing sessions in years past. I can report to you that all my testing on video streaming sites like Netflix, Amazon Prime, Disney Plus, all the big ones, worked like a charm. I've also used Surfshark while gaming over the years, but most recently I used it while playing Axie Infinity and Roblox, and I did not have any issues with slowdowns except for one game session where I was connected to a Japanese server, which is extremely far away from me. In direct speed tests, I was able to get within 65 to 85% of my normal home internet speed while using Surfshark on Wi-Fi, depending on how far away the servers were and how loaded they were. For reference, my testing was done on an iPhone X or an iPhone X running iOS 15 and a MacBook Pro 16 inch with an Intel i9 processor and 32 gigabytes of RAM. You can see here a couple of those speed tests that I did you know, sped up to make it easier to watch, and I did them on servers close to me and servers far away to give you an idea. Of course, each server location is different, and connecting to servers that are further away are likely going to result in more latency and slower speeds, so bear that in mind when picking which server location to connect to. Regardless, Surfshark hit the mark for me in terms of speed, despite the occasional hiccup on remote servers that are thousands of miles away. Oh, and by the way, for those of you who care about P2P support, Surfshark does also support P2P on its service. Now next, I wanna talk about the user experience, which is extremely important for a VPN, because if it's a pain to use, you won't use it, and a VPN that isn't in use is doing you no good in terms of encrypting traffic, obfuscating your IP address, and doing what it does, right? This is another area where Surfshark really, really thrives. The applications on desktop, mobile, web browser extensions, etc., are all super, super easy to use. They're super well designed and easy to look at. And all the most important features are front and center for you to interact with, making it super simple to get set up for the very first time. Getting connected to a server, picking a new server, enabling nice to have features like the kill switch to keep you from accidentally jumping onto public Wi-Fi, takes a matter of seconds. It makes a big difference to have applications that are well-made. I've also gotten to test Surfshark on my M1 Mac, and the newer versions of Surfshark are compatible with these new Apple Silicon devices, which is really great to see as well, because some applications don't run super well with the emulator on the M1 Macs. I will also say that Surfshark also offers all sorts of features built in that make the experience customizable, like Clean web, which blocks ads at the source while you're browsing. Multi-hop connections that bounce your requests from one server to another, and more. Now, like I mentioned at the very beginning, I would say that 
by far my absolute favorite part about Surfshark and what really sets it apart from the competition in this realm is the value that you get for your money. Surfshark is super reasonably priced and it doesn't skimp on speed or user experience because of that low price. With a coupon code, you can get Surfshark for around $2 a month on a two-year plan, which is basically 24 months of service plus three extra months of bonus service when you use that coupon code. That's much lower in a price point than other competing VPNs on the market, and what you get for $2 a month is pretty awesome. First of all, you get access to over 3,200 servers across 65 countries, which you can connect to on an unlimited number of devices on one plan. I've got this running on my iPad, my MacBook, my M1 iMac editing workstation at my office, and my iPhone without any issues. For $2, that's pretty generous in my book. This is also great for families as well who want to protect many devices at home or on the go. Again, using the link down below or entering my coupon code Hashoshi at checkout can get you the best possible deal on Surfshark. It's also worth mentioning that Surfshark now offers an additional add-on to that $2 plan. For an additional $1.49 a month, you can add on antivirus and data breach alert functionality, which will give you some protection from malware. And a heads up, of course, if your data is found in a data breach online. Both are nice to have features that might just be worth adding on if you're already looking to buy them. It'd probably be cheaper to do them in one bundle rather than to buy them separately. I will be fully transparent though, I haven't tested the antivirus in depth offered by Surfshark, so I won't comment on it in detail. This is definitely worth looking into. Finally, the last big thing I really think that stands out about Surfshark is that they listen to customer feedback and they're constantly improving the product. I've been campaigning for them for ages to add two critical features. One of them was two-factor authentication, which is a no-brainer security feature. And the other was to support the efficient, secure, and speedy new VPN connectivity protocol, WireGuard. And I was not alone in those either. Many shared my sentiments. And now both features are prominently featured in Surfshark in the product. So this is awesome to see. And part of listening to feedback is how available customer support is. I mean, you and I have both probably bought something and we had a question or a comment. And customer support is impossible to get in touch with, or there really isn't any customer support. That's not the case here for Surfshark. Their documentation is great, the privacy policy and terms are very clear and prominently featured in the app, and it is super easy to get in touch with a person through live chat on their 24-7 support page. I've used this several times. Now, despite all the great things about Surfshark, like any other product on earth, it's not perfect, and there are some things that I'm not so in love with. First and foremost, I really want to see Surfshark add a sort of optimal setup wizard or diagnostic system in their web and mobile apps that would basically test your network conditions in your device and determine the best VPN protocol choices to use based on the various parameters like server location, your internet speed, etc. The reason I say this is because obviously Surfshark having all these great features is awesome, multiple VPN protocols, all these servers, etc but many users will likely not know how to optimize the VPN for their needs right away. And this wizard on first time opening the app could ask a user a series of trade-off questions like, do you want higher speed or higher security? Do you want to disconnect from the web if the VPN connection is lost, etc.?" and then set settings to local defaults based on those answers. It would really help people get up to speed on the app much quicker and get the most out of their VPN plan if they don't necessarily want to learn everything about it on day one. I will also say that in comparison to some of the more expensive VPNs out there, Surfshark didn't quite perform in speed tests as high as they would on average. And this isn't surprising given the price difference that there is, but it is worth noting. Some users might have extremely latency and speed sensitive applications they're using this for, like heavy upload and download workflows for media creation or high bandwidth streamed games. That's just something that's an individual choice, but it is something to think about when you're deciding to buy Surfshark or or something else. For me, I think that 99% of people will be able to use Surfshark for basically all of these things to save some extra money and enjoy plenty fast internet speeds for most activities that you'd want to do. Finally, one of the selling points that Surfshark shares for its service is that it's undergone an independent security audit, which don't get me wrong, is definitely indeed nice to see to give you that assurance that the VPN is secure. However, the scope of that audit was relatively small, and it's not a massive selling point in my opinion. 
I'm not at all implying that I suspect there are any issues behind the scenes, but it's really just more that I'd like to see a wider scoped security audit that covers the majority of Surfshark's architecture behind the scenes so I can feel more confident in the results. A full scope security audit, if you will, would be relatively unprecedented in the VPN space. So I'm not sure that will ever happen, but who knows? The last thing I will say on this topic is that I'm a big proponent of open source, which would basically let independent auditors analyze Surfshark's code for even greater trust and assurance. But that's also a tricky balance to strike. We'll see what happens on these fronts. Super minor nitpicks, but worth noting as well to give you a comprehensive view. All in all, I would most certainly recommend Surfshark for anyone looking to get a VPN. It's a great value for money. It has all the features one would want. The speeds are gonna cover most users' needs and the support is indeed top notch. If you do end up trying Surfshark, remember that you have 30 days to get your money back if you change your mind. So don't stress about it. If you end up not liking it, you can get your money back. Of course, either way, I wanna hear what you think. So let me know in the comments below what your experience is with the product if you do pick it up. Thank you for that in advance. And if you wanna learn about other VPNs that are comparable to Surfshark as you do your shopping, please do check out this video here on the screen about my top three VPN picks. And I hope you have a fantastic rest of your week. And of course, until next time, cheers.